was all over the place on this epic middle Georgia day trip, but in a good way. About an hour and 15 south of Atlanta is Georgia's hidden gem town, Warm Springs, where I visit Franklin D. Roosevelt's little white house, where he actually died at, one of Georgia's seven natural wonders, hike Cascade Falls and Pine Mountain, check out the Warm Springs town square, and a very random but awesome bonus. Got a late start, but that's okay. Six hours of daylight is plenty of time for an adventure. First stop, Roosevelt's Little Historic White House. Let's go. Just before the Little White House where our World War II president stayed was the museum with all sorts of stuff President Roosevelt used. My fellow Americans, last night when I spoke with you about the fall of Rome, I knew at that moment the troops of the United States and our allies were crossing the channel. This place is nothing short of amazing. See that? Real men back in the day. My name is Carol Ann Glenn, and I've been working here for about four and a half years. Right here, we have the wheelchair that FDR actually designed and his leg braces that were built and designed specifically for him at our brace shop, the Polio Foundation. My mother actually had polio and she came here for her treatment for more than 10 years from South Georgia. When she was uh, about 17 years old, she had to have an operation on the leg that was affected with polio. My father, who actually was from this area, he actually worked as a push boy at the foundation and they would push the polio patients wherever they needed to go. Of course, it was my daddy who pushed my mother around when she needed it, and that's how my parents met. As a result of what FDR came and created here in Warm Springs, that is why I'm here. We welcome you to come and see the Memorial Museum. You're gonna find two cars that FDR drove with his hand controls, and a cane collection that was given to him, as well as a lot of other artifacts. And the house itself, that is our treasure. It is kept the same as it was uh, when he died, April 12th, 1945. The warm springs, do they really work for polio? Well, it was a good um, therapy type of water. It was warm, first of all, 88 degrees, and also has a lot of good minerals in it. So it has magnesium and calcium, which makes it buoyant. And it has silica, which makes your skin so feel soft and smooth. So there's a lot of good reasons to use it for not only polio, but other uh, physical therapy issues. Honestly, I was not expecting how large and amazing this place was gonna be. Heading to the little White House where he stayed. And this here is a sentry post where the CIA stayed. And this is a sentry post where one of the Marine Corps was stationed at for his guards. This at the time was the American flag with only 48 stars. Same flag that was flown here at the time. Here are the servants quarters in the middle. Little White House, let's go. I love how the uh, floors are squeaking, but a way simpler life back then. The only place with more coffee cups than my wife. In a second home, you'll see the kitchen area, the living room and dining room as they were. A few model ships on the walls he built from scraps. The bookshelves with his books. But the sad part was the final unfinished portrait. While FDR was being still during this portrait, he collapsed halfway through because of a cerebral hemorrhage or stroke. Two hours later in the bedroom, he died. He had a guard there in that little green building. A guard there and a guard there. This was his back porch. This was his view. Bedroom. Our president during World War II died right here. That's crazy. This was the president's desk right here. The president and the president's wife had a bed this small. The president's wife had a drawer this small. And we complain? So FDR turned this regular kitchen chair into a wheelchair by just putting wheels on it. Scratches. 
My father, their old dog. This was very eye-opening. So much stuff around me and I just never knew until I started this channel. But why did FTR move here? Main reason was because of the warm springs that helped us polio. The warm springs are actually one of George's seven natural wonders. Gonna go there right now. This is where FDR came to the Warm Springs back when it was full. And I guess that's it right there, what's left of it. Unfortunately, the pools are damaged and can't currently hold water, but presumed to be fixed by October 2024. But it was here that helped FDR's polio along with many other polio patients from the polio foundation he started. But now four miles away, going to FDR State Park, the largest state park in the state. And I'm gonna hike one of the more popular trails south of Atlanta called Cascade Falls on Pine Mountain. Three waterfalls and a two mile one-way trip. Gonna be fun, four miles total. Obviously named after the 32nd president, Roosevelt's favorite picnic spot was at Dodal's Knob amongst this long Pine Mountain Range drive throughout the state park. But I had to stop at at least one of the overlooks. Beautiful overlooks throughout the state park. Freaking awesome. All right, here at Pine Mountain Trail, headed to Cascade Falls. Not the most pristine nature like what you find in the North Georgia mountains, but still a fun, pleasant hike. Good news, about a mile in, the trail gets a lot better. Really cool nature now. This is the southernmost mountainous region in Georgia, with hardwood pine forests featuring hickory and several species of oak within the trail's dense tunnels of unbloomed mountain laurel. The trail stream also had many unique, colorful rocks that you don't see too often. This is probably due to the different types of rocks south of the Appalachian and the different kinds of minerals such as iron oxide and copper. So here is Kasaka Falls, one of three waterfalls. Teeny, teeny, tiny waterfall. But what I love is the little tiny little cove right here and the colorful rocks. I don't know why, I just love these colorful rocks. It's just different than what you find in North Georgia. Time for the second waterfall. This here is Big Rock Falls, second of the waterfalls. Again, a lot smaller waterfalls here in middle Georgia. A lot more peaceful of a waterfall. So if you're into that, this is a good trail for that. So I was happily wrong. There's actually four, technically four waterfalls. One of them up there is Big Rock Falls. This one here is Slippery Rock Falls. And the reason why they call it Slippery Rock is because you're walking on this very slippery rock. Getting close. And now for the final waterfall, Cascade Falls. Pretty cool, very unique. What a fun, unique, enjoyable hike here in middle Georgia. And you don't really get too many hikes in middle Georgia. So it's nice that people around here can have a good hike to go through. This one, and if you're in the area, High Falls is also a good one as well. That was cool, better than I expected. And now I'm probably gonna go to Warm Springs and I need to get my backpack. Random side note, if you're staying in Warm Springs, 
This is the hotel to stay at. I stayed here before. Behind it is where the sun rises over a ridge. It's very, very beautiful. So, yeah, that's my uh, random side note. Aiden Best Western. Okay, roughly one hour to kill at Warm Springs, the town square. All right, here in Warm Springs, you know, I'm feeling pretty good from that hike, and it is because there are so many benefits to hiking. That's why you should get my shirt. Benefits of hiking. I just love the steps, how they uh, have it like an older design. Really, really neat. I think that's FDR's wife, her alley. The town has many named things inspired by FDR, including their dog, Fala. Welcome to Fowler's Flower Market in historic Warm Springs. Great small town for a getaway and even a more wonderful place to come and live. Of course, it's home to President Roosevelt's Little White House. So the historical significance here is all around, if you like that sort of thing. Callaway Gardens, another great place to come and visit. And of course, good Southern hospitality everywhere you go. So a lot of people ask, about the name Fallas. Uh, Falla was actually President Roosevelt's pet Scottish Terrier. When we moved to Warm Springs and decided to open a business, we were looking at names and Falla just stood out for us. So Falla is the only presidential pet that has ever been memorialized in statue. He sits at the foot of FDR in Washington. So if you decide to get out and visit this cute little town, uh, some things that we have going on in the spring, we have a festival called Spring Fling. Fall, we have another festival, Harvest Hoedown. And then of course, the grand finale is Christmas when we do what we call candlelight. The whole town is decorated for Christmas. Get a chance, visit us here in Warm Springs. We'd love to see you. Normal business hours here, of course, are country time, which is like 10 to 5. 30 every day except for Sunday. Sunday's shorter of course. Really good news guys. Guess what? I didn't think that this was gonna happen but I'm gonna have enough time to catch my buddy's WWE style wrestling match. He's also the drummer in my band. He goes by Chainmail. Where's Chainmail? He always gets booed and beaten up. I cannot wait to see him get beaten up. And the best part is, the wrestling match is free. Oh, look who's here. What's up, Tony? Hey. You guys know Seth for some of our videos. Sing it it's me, the absolute team. Chainmail. Chainmail. Let me just tell you, you're gonna get what's coming to you. What goes around comes around, Chainmail. You wanna keep snatching the microphone from me like it's your microphone? We'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, my drummer's gonna get destroyed. Ah. Oh, he was doing great. Maybe you can tire him out and... Oh. That's the war, the second powerball. Oh my god. <laughs> Did they say I deserved it and they said happy birthday? Let me ask you a question. What? Oh. Oh. Why do you suck so bad? Yeah, them, well, some of them. <laughs> Why'd you do zero offense? Are you kidding? He's 400 pounds and I'm pretty sure I broke my left pinky. Somebody do me a favor. Go get me a shot of James. <laughs> what happened to your accent? Shut up. <laughs> I've come from nothing. I want everything, but right now I need that DWA championship. That's why I'm going to go out there. I'm going to fold Blake Lee like a fourth grade love letter because I am the warden, your warden, wrestling's warden. What's your name? I'm the warden. The warden. And his opponent the challenger. Let's go. The warden came to one of our shows. 
So who are you going for? I'm going to give Parker the edge. Plus, he has a little bit extra agility. That's going to come in handy when it, when it gets to the elusiveness factor. Parker would come to one of our shows if he could. He's just busy. He's just busy. Warren has been there, though. Really? Yeah. One, two, three, four. What did I tell you? Parker yeah. Lee, never bet against him. What an action-packed day. Little White House, the four-mile hiking trail, Warm Springs Town Square, and the wrestling event. Unfortunately, my friend got actually hurt. I even started late and I was filming. So imagine what you can do in one day if you're not filming. In case you're interested in another video, that is very south of Atlanta. It's an island, Cumberland Island, amazing hiking trail, highly recommended. Check that video out here. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.